off the lights and go full screen because it's the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year. Get out. YouTube user Veronica Shannon says that she has been experiencing a terrifying haunting in her apartment. After hearing and seeing strange things around her home, she installed multiple security cameras. Things start out simply enough. Her cameras pick up some strange light anomalies and a few odd sounds. But then, seemingly after Veronica starts paying more attention to the bizarre incidents and telling friends about them, things get a bit more intense. Her two young sons start waking up terrified and screaming every night at around 3 a.m. And things get even weirder. Twice they catch some odd apparition that seems to appear near the door whenever someone arrives or leaves the apartment. It's almost as if the spirit just doesn't want someone new there. One night, Shane, Veronica, and another friend decide to conduct their own informal sort of seance. It doesn't go well. Do you need help? Are you stuck here? Move the camera if you need help. Oh my god. Oh my. Are you in the boys' room? Shut up, don't be. There's something bad happening. Okay, the walk of dark and we'll stay I'm not even moving it. You finally moved? This door's stuck. Get the fuck out of here. As Shane asks if the ghost is now in the boys' room, the children immediately start crying their eyes out. But then, when they rush to the door, something is preventing them from opening it. They have to break down the door to get inside to the crying boys. You can check out more of Veronica's story and videos over on her YouTube channel, Veronica Shannon. Catalina, Catalina. So everyone has heard of the Bloody Mary Party Game and the Charlie Charlie Challenge. This next video features an odd supernatural game that I've never heard of before. Two girls are gathered in front of a creepy doll. Each time they recite a line, they light a candle at the doll's feet. And it didn't go well. <laughs> Catalina, Catalina, vuelve a la vida. Lo que el diablo te da, el diablo te quita. Catalina, Catalina, vuelve a la vida. Lo que el diablo te da, el diablo te quita. En nombre del demonio, manifiéstate hoy, aquí y en este día. En nombre del demonio, manifiéstate hoy, aquí y en este día. ¿Ves? Caliente, 
Now this video was sent in by a viewer who says she found it on a random Spanish language website. I searched for the source or even a mention of this Catalina Catalina ritual that the girls are doing, but nothing showed up. So I leave it to you to decide. Is this a haunted doll caught on camera or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Truth and Consequences This next clip was sent in by Nukes Top 5 viewer Sarah Bransky. Now this video is shrouded in a bit of mystery in that I just can't seem to find the original video. And Sarah, who submitted the video, says that she's also searched all over for the original clip with no luck. So, the story goes that apparently the woman in the video was working the overnight cleaning shift in an old empty house. She claimed that she regularly experienced absolutely terrifying paranormal encounters during her nightly shift. But no one believed her. So, one night after being challenged by her friends, she went to the house, left off all the lights, and live streamed the whole thing to her friends on Snapchat. Right, I'm gonna go open this door now. And you see some shadows, but that is me putting my phone in my other arm. Right. Oh! Jack! What? God. Sounds like there's something in that bedroom. Sometimes it opens the door for you. Emma, if you're in there, can you open my door, please? That's the attic. That must have dropped us there. Drop us. Come on, Kelly, you've been in here a thousand times. Come on. I'm gonna go into Philip's bedroom now. Right, come on, Kelly, you've been in here a thousand times. Come on. I'm gonna go into now. Now I want to go back down now. I want to go back down now, seriously, in a dead twatty move. Uh, um, hello? I'm sorry for camera checking, but it's... <sighs> Big mistake, this doing this cleaning at night. Stupid mistake. Right, I'm, I'm coming back to the stairs. I don't... Ah! F***ing hell! Oh, God. Oh, Mum. Oh, I don't want me, Mum, because she's an ass. but there you go. Uh, come on, I'm going to man up now. Well, not man up, because I'm a woman. I'm going to woman up now. Come on. Can anybody hear what I can hear? Can you hear it, Chris? That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I don't, let me go. All right, just leave me alone for five till I get downstairs, please. Just leave me alone. Somebody's just said something to me. Who's on? Oh, I'm gonna shoot me in. What? Right, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, wherever you are. This isn't funny no more. This is not funny. Right, I've just shut door. I've just shut door. Bed, I'm gonna sit on the bed. I dare not move. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I, I wanna go down. What the sh was that? Eileen, I hope you're hearing this and that. Anne Marie, I hope you're all fing watching this and that swearing. I can hear tapping in that cupboard. I don't know where... Oh! I don't know where to go. Don't... I'm right. I'm going to go on to landing. Oh! What the hell? All 
all right. I think I've had enough. I want to go down. I want to go... Right, I'm going to go... I'm going to... Watch, because I'm going to kick the f***ing teddy back. Water's running in the bathroom. Now, everything that's taking place in the video is bizarre enough. But what happens next is downright chilling. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I've shit it, I'm going. I'm just going to ask the little girl that's in the little bedroom. Emma, I'm sorry for shouting, sweetie. Will you open the door for me, please? I have just seen some. I have just seen some. Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take them all. I am off frigging down. The things I do for you a lot. The woman calls out to a little girl ghost named Emma that allegedly haunts one of the rooms. No response. But there's a bang from a different bedroom, and when she turns, this. It looks like some pale figure that actually reflects the light is now standing at the doorway, but it quickly ducks back inside the room. And with this, the woman has had enough. She ends her live stream and just gets out of there. So, what do you think? Did this late night cleaner catch proof of her ghostly encounter on her Snapchat live stream? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Sabrina C. Coven claims that her apartment has a history of strange occurrences. Doors open and close on their own and drawers slide open when no one is around. Then one night, Sabrina captures something absolutely shocking on her CCTV camera. At 5.41 in the morning, Sabrina's cat is quietly walking through the living room. When this happens. It almost looks as if Sabrina's cat is thrown into the air and then dragged into the dining room. The cat violently hisses as though it's being attacked, and the other pets become very disturbed as well. Then a chair seems to move from under the table all on its own. Sabrina is woken up by the commotion and checks to see what happened. Luckily, all of her pets are unharmed, but when Sabrina looks at the CCTV footage, she is baffled. Sabrina says that it would have been absolutely impossible for this particular cat to leap into the air like that. Because you see, this cat is actually missing one of its legs. So, what do you think could have happened to Sabrina's cat? Let me know down in the comments. Catch them all on camera. Zach from the YouTube channel Catch Em All Fishing has a channel dedicated to fishing and catching reptiles. Nothing creepy or nothing paranormal whatsoever. At least until this recent video. In the video, Zach is exploring an undisclosed location that he calls, quote, an abandoned underground city. He says that he is trying to find and capture a python, as the large snakes are drawn to warm wet places like this. As he enters the dark building, he immediately feels like he's not alone. So before I get too deep in here, I just wanna let you all know I'm looking for snakes right now, for pythons, and honestly, I feel like I shouldn't be in here. It's really creepy in here, and it's really big. Hello? As he explores the dark underground building, Zach is a little jumpy. And it turns out, he has reason to be. Dude. What? Oh, hell no. 
Zack hears strange moans coming from somewhere down the winding underground hallways. He decides to hide, thinking there might be someone else in there with him. Someone up to no good. Wish me luck, guys. I gotta shut off my light. I don't know what's going on. The voice has stopped. The voice has stopped, guys. What the f Eventually, the voices stop, and Zack decides to make a break for it, leaving the underground tunnel system behind. But later, when Zack reviews his footage, he realizes that he caught something absolutely terrifying in one of his camera shots. It's leaking outside from somewhere. What? Hello? The bizarre figure of a pale man seems to be staring at Zack from the darkness. Zack claims that he didn't even see the figure until he reviewed his footage later. However, he says that throughout his entire exploration, he felt like someone was following behind him. So, is this strange pale figure a ghost caught on camera? Or was there just some creepy person stalking Zack throughout the tunnels? You decide. You can watch Zack's full video on his YouTube channel, Catch Em All Fishing. Burn after reading. This next video was recorded by a Jordanian ghost hunter that I've never featured before named Mahmoud. In the clip, he's investigating an abandoned building that is said to be home to a powerful curse. As Mahmoud explores, he begins to find old crumpled pieces of paper inside the cupboards, but he pays them no mind. However, it seems almost as if someone or something is watching him as he explores the house's cabinets. And when he checks his footage later, he finds that there might have been yet another paper on a higher cabinet shelf that he couldn't reach. And this one almost seems to move on its own. And then, this is where things become truly bizarre. Mahmoud finds a bright red paper inside one cabinet and decides to see what it is. As he lays down the paper to examine it, the very floor beneath him seems to burst into flame. He makes a quick run for it. Later, when Mahmoud examines the strange paper that he found inside the house, he finds a series of strange symbols in an odd, indecipherable language. So did Mahmoud find an actual curse scribbled on pieces of paper spread throughout the house? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out Mahmoud's full video and his other ghost explorations over on his YouTube channel. A Cry From Beyond Back in the 1960s, the sad story of teenager Sylvia Likens was perhaps one of the most tragic events ever to occur in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, I won't go into the grisly details of the case, but suffice to say, Sylvia Likens met a horrible fate, sometimes imprisoned in her own home's basement. Sylvia finally lost her life, and the house remains abandoned. In this video, YouTuber Carlos Coy 135 and a friend are investigating the Indianapolis home where Sylvia met her tragic fate. Even though the pair don't notice it, things get a bit bizarre almost immediately. The house is empty, but this. This is a, this is a freaky ass house. I know, I'm going to Did you see it? 
When the video is slowed down, you can see that it looks like the curtains on the far left window are pushed back, as if someone is taking a look outside. But the house is supposed to be empty. As they walk around the outside of the home, their camera catches another strange anomaly. What was the basement? Like, where did it Viewers say that it looks almost as if some misty white shape is peeking from the window and then rapidly ducks back inside. But this is when things get truly bizarre. The guys check out the basement where Sylvia Likens was imprisoned for much of her time in the house. This is the basement where the little girl was tortured. Dude, come here. This is freaky. As you can see, this is what the basement looks like. That's f Oh, hell no. This is really serious, too. Dude, I thought. I thought. There's a picture of the stairs. You got to As they walk away from the basement window, well, just listen closely and see what you hear. Now, some claim that they can actually hear screams for help coming from the basement. Here's the clip again with subtitles revealing what many viewers say they hear. So I tried to boost the audio by isolating certain frequencies, but since all speakers and headphones reproduce sound so differently, this may sound better or possibly worse, according to your speakers. So does Sylvia Likens' ghost haunt this home? Or are viewers seeing and even hearing things that just aren't there. You decide. The Watcher in the Window Hearst Castle in Hampshire, England was established in the early 1500s, and over its grim 500-year history, it served as a formidable English military fort. It was also sometimes used as a prison to hold convicts sentenced to death. So it goes without saying that the castle has seen some dark and bloody times. Many visitors claim to have seen ghosts and shadows in its haunted hallways, including the spirit of a long dead monk. Paranormal investigator Tony Ferguson has explored the haunted Hearst Castle many times, and on each visit, he seems to capture something more and more terrifying. On this particular visit, Tony brings along fellow investigator Paul Sissel. The two men split up to explore the castle all alone. But for Paul Sissel, it didn't go well. Paul says that he felt as if he were out of control, possessed by the spirit of some angry entity from the castle. As Tony and Paul continue exploring, they say that they feel a strange and very powerful energy in one particular room. A small castle alcove with one creepy little window that seems to open to nothing. On his next visit, Tony comes alone, determined to investigate this tiny little room and see if he catches any paranormal activity. He sets up a camera to record and ends up capturing something horrific. When Tony reviews his footage later, he is shocked to see a small dark figure with glowing eyes standing at the window in the small Hearst Castle room. Now you might think that this could simply be a person standing outside the window, but it turns out that that would be impossible. 
you see, behind this window there is only a small gap and then concrete. The area behind this window was completely closed off with bricks and cement long ago. So then the question is, who or what is this? You decide. Haunted Holiday Now this next clip is just completely random and bizarre. It's not from some old creepy haunted house or any place that would even seem remotely spooky. This video was actually recorded by a Nukes Top 5 viewer at a random Holiday Inn hotel room in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So a little girl sets up a camera to record herself unboxing her new necklace. And then everything just goes wrong. In an instant, a bunch of bananas in the hallway randomly fly off the shelf, the door lurches shut, and strangest of all, the bathroom sink turns on full blast all by itself. The little girl in the recording told her family, and they found this when they checked the camera. So is this a haunted holiday inn? Is it a hoax? And if it is a hoax, why does this little girl's startled reaction seem 100% real? Let me know what you think. Behind Closed Doors Over on the popular Pakistani ghost hunting channel, Wokia Ta, the team investigates a farmhouse that is allegedly haunted by a spirit or demon. While investigating, they begin to hear an odd sound coming from inside one of the empty rooms. One of the explorers claims he saw something lurking in the corner of the room. When they check his phone footage, this. Gathering their courage, they head into the room to investigate. Something seems to try to lock them inside the room, and then things really get weird. Yeah, 
Something violently shoves open the door, slamming right into the investigator's arm. Later, when they watch their footage of the incident back, they find something that chills them. So did the Wokiata team catch a real ghost or demon on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Wokiata's full investigation of the haunted farmhouse over on their channel. Come hell or high water. The popular YouTuber TechRax has been testing the durability of technology for years, especially the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty much every way imaginable. He drops them from extreme heights, he crushes them with cars, shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers, there's hot knives, gas torches, and even a lawnmower. You name it, and Tegrax has probably thrown an iPhone at it. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro, things take an unexpected turn. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50 foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name The Devil's Cauldron. And we made it to the location, guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I want to show you guys the rig of what exactly is going to go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I want to show you guys the actual hole. So as I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy, guys. You can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's supposed to be about 140 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so you will burn yourself if you tried uh, like taking a dip in here, but it's super sick, literally in the middle of nowhere. Now, the first time Tech Rex drops his recording iPhone into the extremely hot water, the phone comes out fine and the footage shows nothing particularly strange. But the second time he drops his phone into the devil's cauldron, things get a little weird. When he reviews the footage later, he's shocked by what he finds. Tegrax says he has no idea what could have caused this strange underwater screaming, especially since his first recording didn't pick up any odd sounds at all. So just what do you think this strange sound from the devil's cauldron could be? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this full video as well as Tegrax's examination of the footage over on his YouTube channel. Followed home. Over on the YouTube channel Ashes to Ashes, Dave and his brother Chris explore abandoned and sometimes supposedly haunted houses. In this investigation of a woman who says that she has been haunted by an evil entity that has followed her for most of her life, the guys pick up a very strange EVP. Who's here? Is there anything that would like to, uh, is there anything that would like to, uh, is there anything that would like to, uh, I'm gonna ask you to give us a sign up here. A creepy little voice seems to say, go with him. And Dave says that he thinks the evil entity in the house might have done just that. Since the investigation, he's heard sounds and voices in his home especially in one particular hallway. And then, one day, his dog begins to act very strange. 
Did you see it? I'll show you that there's nobody in the hall. Who is it? Some odd thing with pointy ears seems to be hiding around the edge of a door. And note that when Dave swings his camera back around, whatever it was is now gone. You can watch all of Ashes to Ashes Paranormal Investigations over on their YouTube channel. First ghost hunt, last ghost hunt. Reddit user Manda Burke and her husband were exploring the haunted Hillview Manor, an old mental asylum located in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. They had bought tickets as part of a ghost hunting tour group. Manda says they walked around, checked the AVP meters supplied by the tour company, but nothing much happened. Then, they began to hear an odd shuffling sound at the end of one of the halls, but they thought nothing of it at the time. Then, suddenly from the end of the hall, they heard running footsteps charging towards them. Amanda says that the whole event was one of the scariest things she's ever experienced. Now I should note that I don't usually show videos without some visible or audible evidence of the supernatural, but looking at the reaction of this group and seeing just how hard and painful those falls look, I think this is pretty compelling evidence that something came down that hall. But as always, you decide. Deconstruction. This next clip is from a Chinese ghost hunter named Xiao Long who broadcasts his investigations live on a Chinese streaming service. Xiao Long and his friend are exploring an abandoned building that is said to be haunted by the ghost of a construction worker who lost his life while working on the building. As they begin their investigation, creepy things start to happen immediately. One of the explorers swears that he saw a worker dressed in construction clothes walk through the lobby downstairs, but his friend doesn't seem to believe him. He shrugs it off and they continue their investigation. You 
傻的啦！你咋的了，李少点啊！我操你妈！Again, the same explorer claims to have seen someone, but again, his friend thinks he's just being hysterical. Now, before we go any further, I should point out that unlike the Saudi Arabian ghost hunters who pray to ward off evil spirits, the Chinese believe that cursing and acting angry will scare away evil ghosts and demons. And you'll see what I mean. What's holding you, mother? 你出来！我操你妈的！门后边儿吗？出来！ And yet again, one of the explorers sees what looks like a man in a red hard hat peering from behind a door. This time, he even manages to capture it on camera. But yet again, his friend doesn't believe him. That is until. Everything suddenly takes a terrifying turn. Ah! 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 What's wrong with you? Ah! What's wrong with you? 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 我去！啊！哎呀！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊
Reasons. Freezers better not rest. <laughs> Here comes. Is there a light? Is there a light in here? And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. Tyler says that it was every morning like clockwork. At 9.02 a.m., there was banging on the warehouse freezer, and then the door would swing open on its own. But there was no one inside. Here comes. So two months ago, someone named Emily claimed in the video's comments that she currently worked at the same Kroger grocery store and that the strange occurrence still happened, even though the store had recently replaced the freezer door. She says that the freezer door still slams open and closed all on its own. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Andy Sasa's Kahamase is trying to record a video for TikTok when he spots something truly chilling. The face of a little girl seems to be peeking out at Andy from behind his wardrobe. However, when Andy checks the area, no one there. Not only is there no one in the space, but Andy demonstrates in a follow-up video how no one could have even been sitting in this narrow area to begin with. Voy a aclarar algunos youtubers que en esta parte de aquí atrás En esta parte, sí, hay un espacio, pero un espacio donde cae mi puño. Y aquí, supuestamente fue donde apareció la cabeza. Lo malo que esta huevadita, este troperito aquí, es bien pesado. So, what do you think? Is this the ghost of a little girl, or is it just a very good fake? Let me know down in the comments. The Watcher in the Window Over on the YouTube ghost hunting channel, The Haunted Side, lead investigator Patrick and his cameraman Jason are investigating the supposedly very haunted clean water demon house in Reno, Nevada. According to local legend, many people have lost their lives in the house and the property is said to have been home to occult activity for years. As Patrick and Jason investigate, they experience many strange occurrences. Region. Oh, I got Pink. dizzy there for a second. Home. Central. Oh, it's so cold right here. Yeah, it just got real cold. Oh. Who's in here? Ambition. Oh, God. Jesus. As Patrick says, who's in here? Without even noticing, he picks up a small voice, almost like a child, whispering, me. Who's in here? What the f***? What the f Footsteps right above us. The guys hear bizarre noises from upstairs and head up to investigate. As they are checking out the upper floor, some truly creepy things are happening on the floor below. If you walk closer to this machine right here, it'll let us know that you're there. Can you come just a little bit closer? Ooh. Ooh, no. Did you see that? After reviewing the footage, we could find no explainable reason that bike should have fallen over, so we decide to regroup and head back upstairs. Upstairs EVP session. Is there somebody up here with me? Whoa! Dude!
Is that you? No. What the f But throughout the whole investigation, there is something even more chilling going on. Something that the guys don't even realize. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? Patrick catches an unexplained shadow figure looming in a doorway as if staring out at them. Even more bizarre, they have a second camera filming inside, and as you can see, there's no one there. Yoga. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. But it gets even creepier. They don't realize it, but this strange dark figure seems to be watching over them throughout their investigation. I'm gonna move the volume down like a smidgen. Just tell me when, okay, when it's not feeding back like that. Smidgen, just tell me when, when it's not feeding back like that. What's especially creepy about this figure is it appears there and then a second later disappears from that window. To watch The Haunted Side's full two-part investigation of the Clean Water Demon House, as well as their other weekly paranormal investigations, check out their YouTube channel. It follows. Nuke's top five viewer, MK1, worked overnight security at a brewery. He says that one of his co-workers always claimed to experience spooky occurrences around the factory. But MK1 never believed him. Until this night. On this particular night, his friend says that he felt that something was watching him, maybe even following him around the brewery as he went on his nightly rounds. Oh, that's so mad. Yeah. You can see that the guy checks behind him several times, almost as if he expects to see something there. But as he turns to walk away, that is when some odd misty shape can be seen following behind. Needless to say, after this video, MK1 never doubted his friend again. And also needless to say, they were both chilled to the core by this strange video apparition. Even creepier, MK1 says that soon after seeing this video with his own eyes, even he began to experience bizarre occurrences around the factory. The John Lowe murder house. In 2014, 82-year-old dog breeder John Lowe's mind just seemed to snap one night. In a fit of rage, he tragically ended the lives of his 66-year-old girlfriend Christine Lee and her daughter Lucy at his family home in Surrey, England. Lucy was somehow able to call the authorities moments before she lost her life, and John Lowe was arrested for his crimes shortly thereafter. The sudden strange and brutal act shocked the entire country. Since the tragedy, the house has been left completely abandoned. Paranormal investigator Simon from the YouTube channel Ghost Raiders went to what locals now call the quote, John Lowe murder house. His intent was to try to make contact with the spirits of the victims who are still believed to haunt the scene of the crime. Together with YouTube ghost hunters proving demons, they try to communicate with Christine and her daughter Lucy using a spirit box. Their questions get some very strange and eerily accurate responses. Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy Whoa, that was so instant clear. and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? The shocking spirit box reply seemed to acknowledge that Lucy and her mother might be trying to make contact with the paranormal investigators. But things get even stranger when Olivia from Proving Demons claims that she feels something touching her back. Hold on, hold on now. Could it be a car on the road? I she just grabbed me? my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Why? Video? 
No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, no, I swear, I like, didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was. Holding, I didn't touch you. Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab you back. The camera. And my other hand's in my his pocket. Hand in his pocket. There was nothing well, that he could unless, have grabbed his back with. Unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. Did you see it? Right before Olivia says something grabbed her back, a small light enveloped by a strange translucent mist seems to rise up and away from her. This bizarre light or mist was not even noticed by any of the explorers. Hold on, hold on. Could it be a car on the road? I she just behind grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Yeah. After Simon uploaded the video to the Ghost Raiders channel, Keen-eyed YouTube viewers pointed out the very strange phenomenon. Now, I have to say that this clip is one of the more compelling pieces of paranormal footage that I've seen. Because being able to fake this mist, time it perfectly, and then this very real reaction from Olivia when she says her back is touched, well, it all seems very hard to fake. But of course, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Did you see it? YouTuber Eric Gunner is an urban explorer and occasional paranormal investigator from Mexico. In one of his videos, Eric claims that a girl named Natalie contacted him about some very strange activity in her home. Natalie, who appears in the video with a teddy bear face concealing her identity, says that her mother recently rented the upstairs apartment in their house to an elderly woman. Natalie says that as soon as the woman moved in, strange things started occurring in their home. They would hear odd noises in the middle of the night. They would find random things move from one room to the other. And they would often smell an unexplained foul stench coming from upstairs. Weirdest of all, cats and dogs in the neighborhood began disappearing. As for the old lady, her behavior was odd to say the least. She avoided all contact with Natalie and her family. The woman didn't say hello or even talked to them when they passed her on the stairs. If they knocked on her door, she wouldn't answer. Natalie and her family became more and more terrified as the odd noises and events in their house intensified. Then one night, Natalie's 10-year-old sister woke up screaming, saying that her back was in agonizing pain. They checked her and found that her back was covered in deep, unexplained scratches. Well, with that, they had had enough. Without even so much as packing a bag, they fled the house in the middle of the night. As of the filming of this video, they had not been back for two weeks. So, Natalie knew about Eric Gunner's YouTube channel. She asked him to investigate. De hecho, si apago la luz, la casa de arriba está prendida. Ahí es donde vive la viejita. Voy a tratar de hacer ruido para que no me vaya a escuchar. Fíjense que a mí me da más miedo la viejita que, no sé, me voy a parecer un fantasma o algo así. It's fairly obvious that Natalie and her family left in a rush. Se supone que así como dijo ella y esta Natalie pues se fueron de rápido ese día. No recogieron nada. Dijo, pues sí me dijo que iba a haber incluso hasta comida. Hasta frijoles aquí. Ay, William, me fue parecido como estaban lamados. At first it seems like there's not much to see just an average empty house. But then things start to get a little strange. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos de niños. Did you see it? Well, Eric didn't either, but watch again. Lo que veo es que hay muchas fotos de niños. YouTube commenters pointed out that it looks like a small girl dressed in all white briefly peeks out from behind a curtain. Again, I should note, the house is supposedly empty. <laughs> Eric spots a doll that seems to be a bit out of place. Little did he know that after the filming, the house's owner would tell him that the doll doesn't belong to them and they've never seen it. But even creepier, later in the video, Eric passes by the same room again. And, uh, Did you see it? 
As YouTube commenters would later point out, the doll has now vanished. Eric heads into the bedroom to investigate, and this is when things get truly bizarre. Aquí parece que se puede subir por aquí, pero está como sellado. ¿Qué pedo está esta casa rara? ¿Dónde está construida raro? ¿Qué es esto? And once again, I have to ask, did you see it? Something ducks out of sight under the bed. Again, Eric doesn't notice. This too was spotted later by YouTube viewers. Qué pedo. Eric gathers his courage and heads back in to check out the curtain. It didn't go well. As he rounds the corner, a shadowy figure ducks back into the corner of the room. This time, Eric does see it. No sé qué. No sé qué pensar, la verdad, si estoy ya. Tengo miedo. Ya no sé si salimos o no. No hubiera venido solo. ¿Saben qué? Si no hubiera venido solo, la cagué bien, cabrón. No hubiera venido sol. He heads in to check it out, but nothing there. With this, Eric has had enough. He decides to just get out of there. But that might not be as easy as he thinks. Someone in a cloak, presumably the creepy old lady who lives there, comes walking up the stairs. Eric hides until the coast is clear, then quickly makes his escape out to the street. <laughs> so did Eric Gunner catch multiple paranormal encounters on video? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Eric Gunner's full investigation of this supposedly haunted house over on his YouTube channel. Thanks for watching for channel updates and other weird stuff. Follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter right there. I'll see you next week.